make a choice. Oh, hallelujah. Too long we've been out there in limbo, straddling the fence, but it's time to make a choice. Amen. But then I have as a thought, there's consequences for bad choices. Yes, Lord. Did you know there's consequences for bad choices? Yes, there is. Okay, going into the book of 1 Kings 18 and 17, and it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubled Israel? And here we got a prophet Elijah coming to King Ahab. Talk about him. And King Ahab, he was a wicked king. <laughs> he did not obey God's word. And he had built, built up false idols. It had groves that the people were worshiping, doing the exact thing God told them not to do. Don't you have people like that today? Right. Don't you have people like that today? You tell them. against the word of God. So God sent the prophet Elijah. Because sometimes God got to make a point. Sometimes you can tell people this, that, that, this, that, and they still don't believe. Haven't you met unbelievers like that? Yeah. <laughs> you tell them, come on. It's better over my way. You won't have to struggle. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but they let the devil ride, and they let him drive, and they stay on the other side. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's house, and that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. And the prophet Elijah said, I haven't troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's, by your disobedience. By you building up groves and idols against the true and living God. 